Hello everyone, welcome to another video on frequency tables. Now in the previous video, we looked at constructing a frequency table from some raw data that was given to us. But in this video, we're going to use that frequency table to calculate the mean. So this first example that I'm going to go through, it says the box below shows the total number of goals scored in each of 112 football matches. And we need to calculate the mean number of goals scored per match. So the first thing to do is to construct our frequency table. So I'm going to have the number of goals scored in one column and the frequency in the second column. So my number of goals goes from zero to nine because zero is the minimum number of goals and nine is the maximum. And now we just need to fill in the frequency. So on how many occasions were there zero goals? Well, there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine matches where no goals were scored. So I'm going to put nine in here. Now I'm going to do the same thing for one goal. I'm going to do the same thing for two goals all the way up until I get to nine goals. So now we've completed our frequency table. Let's have a look at calculating the mean number of goals scored per match. So first of all, let's just think about how we calculate the mean. Well, the mean will be if we add up all of the numbers and then we divide by how many numbers there are. So if we're thinking about the mean number of goals scored, well, that is going to be equal to the total number of goals scored. And we're going to divide all of that by the total number of matches. Now, if we focus on the first category, we can see that there were nine matches in which zero goals were scored. And that represents all of these zeros up here. So if we think about the total number of goals scored for this category, well, that's obviously just going to be zero. But now if we look at the next category, we can see that there were 23 matches in which one goal was scored. So we could add up all of these ones. So we could do one plus one plus one plus one plus one until we get to the end. But I don't need to do that because I can see that there are 23 ones. So a much quicker way of doing this is just 23 times one, which is just 23. And now if we look at the next category, we can see that there were 26 matches in which two goals were scored. So again, we could add up all of the twos, but instead of adding up all of these twos, which is going to take a long, long time, we can just use multiplication because I know that there are 26 of them and 26 times two gives me 52. So if I add up all of these twos, that will give me 52 goals. So this column that I've created, well, that's just the number of goals scored multiplied by the frequency. And I didn't do it for the first row, but you can see that zero times nine is also zero. So the next category, there were 20 matches in which three goals were scored. So we just need to do 20 multiplied by three, and that gives us 60. So I'm just going to keep repeating this process for each category. So four times 12, that gives me 48. Five times six is 30. Six times eight is 48. 7 times 4 is 28, 8 times 1 is 8, and 9 times 3 is 27. And just before I go any further, I will finish off by highlighting all of my other groups just for completeness. Okay, so we've calculated the total number of goals scored for each category. Now to work out the total number of goals in total, well, we just need to add up all of these. So I'm just going to get my calculator out to add up all of these numbers. And that gives us 324. So in total, there were 324 goals scored out of a total of 112 matches. So now we can calculate the mean. So let me just scroll down slightly. So the mean, well, it's going to be 324 divided by 112. And yes, I will use my calculator again for this. That gives me 2.89, and that will be goals per match. Now, it's quite hard to score, or well, I imagine it's impossible to score 2.89 goals per match. So probably the most sensible thing would be to round this up to the nearest whole number. So I'm just going to say that there were three goals scored per match on average. And that is our final answer for the mean. OK, so now I've gone through a worked example. I'm putting it over to you. So pause the video and see if you can answer these two questions. So the first question, the table shows the number of sweets in 20 bags. We need to calculate the mean. So first of all, what have we got in this table? Well, it says here that we've got one bag that contains 23 sweets. 
we've got four bags that contain 24 sweets, nine bags contain 25 sweets, and so on and so forth. And we need to calculate the mean. So this is the mean number of sweets per bag. So to do this, we're going to need to calculate the total number of sweets and divide that by the total number of bags. Now, the total number of bags, that's easy because we're told that there are 20 bags in the question. So straight away, we can put 20 in our denominator. Now, the total number of sweets, well, let's go through each category. There's one bag that contains 23 sweets. So the total number of sweets in that one bag, well, that must be 23. There were four bags that contained 24 sweets. So the total number of sweets in this category is just going to be 4 times 24. And that gives us 96. So again, we're just multiplying the number of sweets by the frequency. So the next category, we're just going to do 9 times 25. That gives us 225. 3 times 26 is 78. And finally, 3 times 27, that is 81. So we've got the total number of sweets for each category, but we need the total number of sweets in total. So we just need to add up everything in this column. So I'm just going to put all of that into my calculator and I get 503. So there are 503 sweets in total and there are 20 bags. So we're just going to do 503 divided by 20. And that gives me 25. 0.15 and that sounds reasonable because if we think about the minimum number is 23 then the maximum number of sweets in a bag is 27 well the mean has to be between these two values so that's quite uh, I'm quite happy with that answer but um, it doesn't make an awful lot of sense because it's a decimal so if we just round this to the nearest whole number well that's going to be approximately 25 sweets per bag 25 sweets per bag and that is my answer so hopefully you got that one correct, but let's have a look at question two. Lily visits an arcade while on holiday in Western Supermare. She plays 100 games and wins tickets that she can exchange for prizes. Oh, I love these arcades. So I love um, getting those strips out from the machine. Um, yeah, big fan of this. So the table below shows the results and we need to calculate the mean number of tickets per game. So the mean number of tickets per game, well, that's going to be the total number of tickets divided by the total number of games. So again, we know the total number of games because we're told that in the question, there are 100 games. Now, if they weren't told it in the question, if we weren't given these values, we could easily calculate it just by adding together all of the frequencies. So if we were to get, add all of these numbers together, we would get 100. And if we were to add all these numbers together, we would get 20. And if you don't believe me, you can try that yourself. So now we just need to work out the total number of tickets. So again, we're just going to multiply our number of tickets by the frequency. I'm going to multiply each of these rows together. So 0 times 2, that gives me 0. 1 times 11 is 11. 2 times 28 is 56. 3 times 18 is 54. 4 times 11 is 44. 5 times 15 is 75. 6 times 10 is 60, 7 times 2 is 14, and finally 8 times 3, that gives me 20, oh, not 30, 24. So I'm just going to add up all of these numbers now in my calculator, and I get a grand total of 326. So they've won 326 tickets in 100 games. So the number of tickets per game, we're just going to divide, and I don't need a calculator for this, or well, that will give me 3.26. So again, I'm just going to round that to approximately three tickets, three tickets per game. And again, that makes sense because in some games they didn't win any tickets, and the maximum number of tickets they won in a game was eight. So our answer has to be between zero and eight, which it is. Now, just before I finish this video, I really want to emphasize the importance of understanding the frequency table and the process of using the table to calculate the mean. So what I don't want you to do is just use a formula willy nilly to get your answer. I want you to understand where these numbers come from. And if you can do that, it's really going to help your understanding when you look at other things related to frequency tables. So that's going to be it for this video, but in the next video, we're going to carry on using frequency tables and we're going to look at calculating the median, the mode and possibly the range. 
So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.